hello dear students today we will uh, discuss the next point in module 5 that is dielectric materials so dielectric materials are those which have ability to get electrically polarized and in which electric field can exist also they do not allow any electric current to flow through when subjected to ordinary voltage so in the figure you can see there are uh, two diagrams in the first diagram we have shown the polar molecules in dielectric without electric field so those are the dielectric materials without any electric field and in the second figure we have shown the same dielectric material with the application of the electric field okay so there are uh, two type of dielectric materials the first one is non-polar dielectrics and the polar dielectrics so let us see what you mean by non-polar dielectrics so in case of non-polar dielectrics the center of both positive and the negative charges coincides for example we have uh, taken h2o sorry h2o2 so in the figure you can see the dielectrics with electric field and without electric field so without electric field the positive and the negative charges will coincide but when you apply the electric field to the same dielectrics the positive and the negative charges will be separated so let us see what do you mean by uh, polar dielectrics so in case of polar dielectrics the positive charges and the negative charges separated by a distance and they will remain separated always so for example HCl H2O so in the figure you can see the polar molecules with electric field and without electric field so to understand this uh, dielectric materials we should uh, discuss the polarization so what do you mean by polarization the separation of effective center of positive and the negative charges in a substance by the application of electric field is known as polarization so the effective center of positive and the negative charges in a substance has to be separated by applying the electric field and that is called as the polarization so one more uh, term we will be defining that is the dipole moment so it is the product of magnitude of one of the charge and their separation distance so in the figure you can see the positive and the negative charges are separated by a distance r so if you want to find the dipole moment mu is equals to it is a q into r one of the charge into the distance between their separation so this is about polarization and dipole moment now there are different a polarization mechanisms which are present so in that first one is uh, electronic polarization it occurs uh, due to displacement of positive and the negative charges in a dielectric material due to application of the field so in the figure you can see without electric field at the center positive charge is there and all the negative charges are uh, surrounded by it but when you apply the electric field the negative charges and the positive charges will get slightly separated so it is due to displacement of positive and the negative charges in a dielectric material due to application of the electric field it is called as electronic polarization now the second one is ionic polarization now usually this ionic polarization exhibits by ionic compounds like NaCl HCl so when ionic compounds are kept in an electric field the displacement of positive and the negative ions occurs developing a dipole moment in the first figure you can see uh, the, ion, uh, the ions without uh, electric field and in the second diagram uh, you can see how the ions will distribute when you apply the electric field the third one is uh, orientation polarization so when polar molecules kept in an electric field 
already existing dipoles tends to align in the direction of applied electric field this increases the dipole moment so polar molecules are the permanent uh, uh, dielectrics which means uh, the positive and the negative charges will be always separated but they will be randomly aligning in all the possible direction but when you apply the electric field all of them will tend in one particular direction so in the first figure you can see here without electric field and the second figure is with electric field so this is about the basics of the dielectric materials thank you